Damn, it's hot. Is this live? How the... Man, I know the YouTube guys will catch up with me one of these days. Yes, this is Leroy Green 85. Uh, bear with me, I think I kind of forget how to go about this. Um, that son of a bitch, Blue Ray Horror. And him and his Hawaiian juju must have set something up here. Anyways, uh, Yes, I am still around, as you know. Uh, I haven't made a video in quite a long time, but I do thank each and every one of my subscribers and so on and so forth of that has still been number one sub to me and number two still support me and vice versa. Uh, well, it all started a long, long time ago. Blu-ray order sent me a package, um, but uh, the condition was for me to do an unboxing so I guess he was very uh, cunning to pull this off so my hats off to you sir uh, I will do an unboxing of uh, the stuff he sent me so uh, let's get right on to that this has been out of print or hard to find for quite some time recently Amazon or some seller through Amazon has been selling this at the retail price of about 18 bucks which is more than fair um, of course me being lazy uh, I checked and of course Amazon did not have was not selling anymore and it was out of stock and of course it was going right back up to those outrageous prices so I uh, contacted him and uh, he was willing to send me one you know for the retail price that it was at Amazon so that was very nice so here's the unboxing is Miami connection it's a blu-ray disc it's um it, it's clear it's a clear MRA case um the artwork says Miami connection and it's by draft house film not sure who they from here's the spine Here's the spine. Here's the back. Here's the back. Um, special features. If you can read them. Friends for for an eternity. Let me stop. Friends for eternity. You got a freaking audio commentary with the actual star and producer uh, Y.K. Kim and the uh, writer star Joseph Diamond. Deleted scenes. A whole bunch of other stuff. Oh, if you're into the 80s stuff, like where it's just like atrocious acting, um, you know, ninjas clearly, because they have to exist in the 80s, of course. And like this um, Taekwondo <laughs> music band called Dragon Squad, and they sing some of the cheesiest but yet fun uh, songs. And they're, they're kind of catchy. Uh, yeah, Against the Ninja is probably like my favorite one. This is a gem. But let me just give you an example of the great Oscar worthy performance. And if you just wait on for this. Jim, nice. tell us. What happened? Jim, what is this letter? Tell us, go ahead, tell us. Why don't you explain to us? Come on, we're your, we're your best friends. Sorry, it's hiding from this for me, guys. Oh, man, let's see. But this looks like your brother. I didn't know you have a brother. It's my father. What? This is your real father? Yes, it is. Are you sure? I didn't know you had a father. I thought we are all orphans. My mother was Korean, and my father was black American. She gave me this picture when she was real sick. I was only nine years old. They say 
that he loved each other and they were real loyal. They were real happy. But then when he finished military duty, he left. And we never saw him again. She told me to find him. But I didn't like him because he left us. But I knew one day when I grew up, I'd find him. Whether he was dead or alive. And also, it should be still available on Netflix streaming. So, if you can watch it through there, I probably would recommend you doing that. Now, I guess Blu-ray Hoda can't write. Let me try to attempt to read this note he for me. How's it, Blue Duper? Well, if it ain't the last dragon making the video, hope this is the first of many more. Time to get your glow back, or guru back. You've been one of my greatest supporters of my channel since the beginning. I am glad I was able to grab your copy of Miami Connection. I also include the extra Blu-ray of a title that you always mentioned that you wanted from my collection. So consider it a gift for being such an awesome supporter. And true fan, get your channel glow back. Blu-ray order. So, and to sucker me to making this video, a rare out of print Blu-ray of, of a Shaw Brothers classic, Five Element Ninjas, also known as Chinese Super Ninjas. This was this was released through Tokyo Shock for this one. Um, I've seen this go online for like seventy-five bucks. And uh, but yeah, here's the spy Five Element Ninjas. Here's the back. Here's the back. So uh, well, I guess there is a special feature. There's a conversation with Lo Manga and I guess an actual trailer in Mandarin so um, I grew up watching these films probably from the 80s and um, you know I, I'm, I'm used to this appeal and cheesiness so I mean I don't have to be a snob to say I, I prefer the crappy English dub it kind of adds to his mystique and his cheese uh, I guess if I open it here you see the blu-ray disc this film has a lot of cool scenes, but just for the length of this video, let me just show you a few cheesy clips. Watch out. This may contain poison. Don't touch it. I was careless last time. I was catching this ring from the Japanese, and my palm was bruised. I didn't mind it, but I've been poisoned by it. Uh -huh. Huh? Poison? That's right. I must release it from my body. I can't use Kung Fu for about three months. It's our son. She said her name is Zenji. She's Japanese. Ninja. Shishan, I'll avenge your death. I'm not dead yet. Treachery at its finest. Now, wasn't that fun and cheesy? Again, just want to thank Blu ray Hoarder for this generous uh, gift and package. Alright! Well, I guess it can make this video entry for again the Blu ray Hoarder. He's doing a contest for his 600 subscribers, and that is quite an achievement. I congratulate you, sir. And then all that. So let's get on to it. I'll try to answer the questions as best as I can. Number one. All right. What is your favorite foreign film and why? Oof. Man, that's tough, man. With the Criterion films and other sort of films from, you know, French, uh, Bollywood, you know. Korean, the list just goes on and on, but it's kind of really, really hard to just say one. But I'm just gonna go with my gut here. I'm gonna pick Bruce Lee. I I don't know if I can just pick one, but I'll just say Bruce Lee would be my answer for that. Number two, what is your favorite TV show of all time? Leash. 
But I'll see if I can think of uh, Sopranos. The Wire. Um, I mean, there's some great television. You know, Seinfeld. Uh, the Cosby Show. Uh, you know, Saved by the Bell. You know, those are all like, you know, top of my head, um, some great shows of their time period. Scorsese or Spielberg? And I guess you gotta choose why. Man, dude, this question, man. I mean, I, I, I enjoy both Spielberg because, you know, of Close Encounters of the Third Kind, but like E.T., you know, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Scorsese, um, you know, really packs a punch in his films. I mean, he's most noted for, obviously, you know, Goodfellas, Casino, Raging Bull, you know, and the list goes on and on. I'll go with Scorsese. One of my personal favorites is uh, Casino. Films, I'm gonna go with Tarantino. Fellas, but it's probably the one I'll probably watch the most. Nolan or Tarantino, and why? Jeez. Ugh, man. Well, Tarantino, obviously, I have an affection for because he, like myself, has a, uh, a love for those old Hong Kong films and made a homage to them with the Kill Bill movies. And, you know, and obviously, you know, the other great films but and also let's see Nolan obviously because of you know his uh, his unique style and kind of reviving Batman Kill Bills and the Django's and all those other ones you can name but these are just some of the ones that I watch a lot Paul Thomas Anderson or Wes Anderson? Well, I guess this one's easier for me. And I'm not dissing Wes Anderson. I'm not too familiar with his work. Um, seen Life Aquatic. Uh, bits and pieces of Moonrise Kingdom. Okay, uh, it's an acquired taste. I mean, his type of humor. Um, it's quirky. It's, 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 it's interesting, but if you're really not in the mood for that, then if you're not into that sort of style of filmmaking, then you probably wouldn't be a fan of his. Um, probably one of the most ones that I like and highly watchable for myself is Boogie Nights. Um, this kind of film that kind of put uh, Marky Mark on the map. Why are you sub to my channel? Well, it was over a year ago. Um, I don't know if it was 4K Cinema HD, one of those guys, I think, Mata, I saw, you know, when you go on their feed, and I think they were liking one of your videos, and one of your first videos I think I've ever watched was DVDs that need to be put on Blu-ray, and the one film that got me sub to you, you show this, and I'm like, whoa, this guy knows what this is? Subbed! But of course, after that, you know, we definitely uh, clipped and, uh, you know, you're definitely more than just a subscriber. We've uh, become uh, quite good friends. So I do uh, appreciate it. You twisted my arm to come back and make a video. So kudos to you. And for those, and I really hope that's not the case, if anyone who's not, who is a subscriber of mine and not subscribed to Blu ray Order, Please do so down below. Uh, the link will be on the description. And uh, I thank you for uh, being bored and falling asleep while watching this. And uh, if I provided any of that, great. And if that's the case, please provide a, a like and a comment, perhaps. And maybe, <clears throat> just maybe, I might do more of these again. As always, do the thing. Peace.